Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's Cody Carpenter here back with another video. In the previous video, I covered the most important thing about affiliate marketing and using Facebook and Instagram ads, which is designing a compliant and professional landing page. I'll have a link to that video up here. So in this video, I wanted to cover what I personally think is the second most important thing, and that's getting your pixels right. So I'll quickly just cover how easy it is to set up your pixels on your page and why they're so, so important. So I'm gonna start with explaining why they're so, so important. So once you have your pixel installed on your website and you start sending paid ads traffic to that website, uh, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or whatever type of traffic source you're using, you will be able to track every user that goes there. You'll have a pixel that will fire. And as soon as you do that, you can track more events too, we'll get into that later. But it's important because you can, down the road, you can start retargeting to the people that showed up on your website but didn't take any action. And the second thing you can do with pixels is that once you start collecting enough data, you can start making lookalike audiences. And this is something that Facebook does and you should definitely take advantage of it because it literally tracks every user that went to your website and Facebook is so smart like that pixel collects so much information and then it'll go out and find it'll create an audience that are most like the people that visited your site and I'll be covering all this in later videos so that's why it's super important is retargeting and then the lookalikes so this is the new ad account that I set up so right now I'm gonna go to YouTube tutorials because I only have one ad account right now and that's this one and as you can see, no campaigns. We haven't started doing any campaigns yet because we're covering the basic before we dive into that. So what you're gonna wanna do is go over here, business tools, and then events manager. And this is where you can set up your Facebook pixel. So this is a brand new account, so we'll just click get started. And then you'll name your pixel, YouTube tutorials pixel, that'll be fine. And I'll just continue. And then manually add pixel code to your website because we don't need to hire anyone to do this because it's super simple. Save some money and just do it yourself. So this is the base code right here and this is what tracks your page views. And I'm just going to copy that right away. And now I'm going to, just for example purposes, I'm gonna pull up one of the share funnels um, that we made or that I showed you in the previous videos so I'm gonna go to that share funnel right now and it's Facebook and Instagram quiz landers in the video I made before this I covered the three types of landing pages that I use with Facebook ads I also have an option for you to download these three three different vertical landing pages I have an option if you're new to ClickFunnels sign up for the 14 day free trial and you will get this share funnel imported into your new account and you will get exclusive training. That's one of the new offers that I came up with for new ClickFunnels members. So right away, let's just get started. I'm going to edit this page and we'll just do the sweeps lander for example. I'm gonna go into settings and tracking code. And then I'm gonna place it right in the header and you'll know it's good if you have this end pixel code and then scroll up and here's the start of it and then all you have to do is click save so now you have a pixel in your header that tracks page views and when we preview this you'll know it's working if this shows up and this is Facebook pixel helper and this is a free Chrome extension that you can download and it is just super helpful uh, so if you don't have it just type in Facebook pixel helper and if you're using Chrome it's a free download so that's as simple as it is to download that then once you click on it you will see the pixel ID this is my pixel for my ad account and you will see page view with the green check and that means you have your pixel stored properly and you can now start tracking every page view like every customer that goes to your website you will be tracking the page views so that was simple like we just set up the Facebook pixel in like a minute and now this is a little more advanced um, so we will continue because we don't have to check so we already know it's working and right away 
after you click continue now that you've installed the pixel base code you can use the event setup tool to track the actions that matter most to your business without using additional code and then you can use Facebook's event setup tool that's recommended but I like to manually do it and for this example of adding an event code we'll just go lead so in this scenario pretend that you're sending people to a landing page and let's say you're collecting emails once they submit their email address and name they go to the thank you page so if you wanted to track leads all you would have to go all you would have to do is choose something that has lead on it so it's got a bunch of categories right here ecom doesn't have the lead option but you could do it with view content but I will just I like to use lead because a lead is a submission of information by a customer with the understanding that they may be contacted at a later date by your business so this is like the this is like perfect if you're collecting emails and you have people go to your thank you page for let's say like a lead magnet or whatever then we will just go and grab this and I'm going to paste this into a notepad And I'm going to close that out. Now I'm going to come and grab the tracking code because this is the base code. We'll need that. Copy. And I'm going to paste this right above. And then I'm just going to backspace once. And now let's pretend like this is the thank you page that they submitted an email address in your name. And then they go to the lead magnet so you can track that. Same thing. All you got to do is edit page tracking code right here copy paste looks good save and now remember this is all hypothetical so I'm gonna preview it and we saw it go from two to three so that's good we got the page view and the lead so everything's getting tracked perfectly and that is how simple it is to install a Facebook pixel and events onto your uh, onto your landing pages okay so we covered adding the pixel for the page views and the lead and we got everything working properly and we covered adding the Facebook pixel helper which is a lifesaver and one thing I also wanted to mention is that once you start getting a lot of visitors to view your landing page you can create look-alike audiences and we'll cover that and once you start getting a lot of leads you can make look-alike audiences on the leads too and once you get into making look like audiences on people who take action on your website, this is when you start making the big bucks. So that is it for this video. There will be a link to get the share funnel if you want to get access to the three landers and three different verticals. Uh, these are awesome. They work really good for me. So that is it for this video. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, smack that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.